Sean, listen, I subscribe to you because you talk about pole vaulting all the time and now you're not talking about it as much. What is the deal? Hajime! Truth is, I haven't been pole vaulting, so I haven't been talking about it. But I still get a ton of emails, and this is one I should have made a video a long time ago, responded to this question more than just about any other question I've gotten. So let's talk about recruiting. So here's five simple things that you can do that will make your recruiting experience way better. Number one, there are three divisions, actually kind of four if you call them NAIA, but there's division one, division two, and division three. So it doesn't really matter where you go, is what really matters is the fit. Just keep in mind, division three does not have athletic scholarships, and division one is super competitive. So if your goal is to travel a bunch, maybe you want to go to division three, because you'll probably travel right away. Whereas if you division one, you might not make the conference team right off the bat. Division one, division two, division three, doesn't matter so much, except based on whatever your goals are. So keep your goals in mind. What do you want out of going to be a student athlete? Sean, I'm not getting any recruiting letters. How do I, how do I, how do I know where to go? When I was a coach at NDSU for a couple years, pole vault coach, and did recruiting, I always liked it when kids emailed me. It showed initiative and it made me kind of want them to be on my team right away. And now in today's day and age, the best thing you can do is go fishing. Let me show you a minute. The quality's gonna get crappy here. Oh, I'll show you. All right, so this is NDSU's website. So if you go to additional links here, almost every single website has a recruiting form. You just fill it out, that's about it. And then once you fill it out, the coach usually gets back to you and asks you a bunch of questions. Sometimes they have a visit, sometimes they call you. It doesn't really matter. NDSU is not the only one who does this. Just about every single place does this. University of Minnesota actually has it right here at the very top. Recruit questionnaire, bam. Fill it out, and then they have it, and you're good to go. Okay, so now let's say you filled out all that stuff and you haven't heard anything back. Every single site has an email and sometimes a phone number. So bug the coaches, bug the event coaches, bug the assistant coaches, and bug the head coach. Tell them who you are, tell them you are really interested in this school and you just need information. You want to know because you have all these schools to juggle from. The more times you cast, the better chance you have at catching a fish. You're, you're better off catching a ton of fish and then being able to choose what one you want to eat. Let's just put it that way. So keep fishing. Number three, Carrie actually brought this up because she was a volleyball player. Back in the day, which really wasn't very long ago, you used to have like a recruiting video. Like you would make one and send it to uh, coaches. But now everything's on social media. Don't put anything bad that you would think, oh man, if a recruiter saw this, I don't think they would like that very much. The best example I have, here's kind of a funny story. When Facebook just started taking off, we they, they put all the student athletes at NDSU into an auditorium and they were gonna talk to us about Facebook and we were all kind of laughing and joking. The guy who was giving the presentation went to NDSU athletes and just started taking pictures from their Facebook and then showing them to the entire auditorium and my buddy RJ had a picture on there of him standing on the street peeing on a bush giving a thumbs up like to the camera that was there was a bunch of other raunchy pictures too but that was the big one that was like, oh man, anyone can see these. Maybe you guys already know this, but just keep in mind that, just be careful what you put on there. Post your like videos of you doing your athlete, your, of your athletics, your sports, and then uh, people can see those too, and then they get a good taste of who you are. Number four, the most important thing I tell everyone who sends me this message is go someplace that feels right. You are gonna be living there for at least four years, maybe five, or if you're like me who decided to go get a master's degree, like eight years. <laughs> And by feels right, I mean make sure the vibe of the camp campus like meshes well with you. Are you like an East Coast person or a West Coast person? Or do you need the ocean? Then the Midwest probably isn't for you. Do you not like cold? Don't go to Minnesota. It's really cold. But if you kind of like the cold, go to Minnesota. Make sure they have a major that you like. Let's say you want to do uh, advertising. And this college doesn't have advertisement, but they have a kick-ass pole vault program. 
I would probably not go there. Make sure the major is there before the sports. I cannot stress that enough. Don't make that mistake, a lot of people do. They think they're gonna be professional football players and they don't make it into football and then they have some like crappy degree they can't do anything with and they wasted four years in college just playing sports. Was it wasted? Probably not, but you could have had both, you know? And then sports are third. Sports are like the bottom of that list of important. You will be spending a lot of time doing your sport and you will be spending a lot of time with those people and you will be spending a lot of time with those coaches so make sure that feels right too but always start with the campus and then the major and then to sports in that order and last but not least i get asked all the time about recruiting and then once people get recruited i get asked all the time about why isn't the sport fun anymore it's because some of those colleges put a lot of stress on these kids who are like well you're jumping 15-6 but if you jump 16 feet or even five meters, we can give you more money. If you jump 17 feet, we can give you a full ride. And then these, they're dangling this number in front of these kids and these kids hate their senior year. And then they, they, they email me like, I don't even think I wanna do uh, sports in college anymore. It's just, I don't know why it's not fun. And it's because they forgot why they started. Never, ever, ever forget why you started. You started the sport or whatever sport you're doing was because it was fun and you just wanted to see what you could do. As soon as like you start doing it for money, which scholarships are money, or for something else, then all of a sudden it's the fastest way to suck the fun out of your sport. I've talked to a lot of kids off the ledge for this exact, for this exact thing. So as you're getting recruited, just remember, if they dangle a big number in front of you, if you do this, we'll give you this. Just remember, it's all part of the journey. Now I always think of what the Dalai Lama said, and this I, this has happened to me so many times. Sometimes not getting what you want can be a wonderful stroke of luck. So maybe you didn't make it into a D Division I college and that's all you wanted. You just wanted to make Division I, but you made it Division II. And then you were a five-time All-American and two-time national champion and uh, you still made the Olympic trials or whatever your next goal was. It doesn't matter what division you start in. Mark Hollis is a great example of that. You know, US champion, but didn't jump at a division one college. So that's my two cents on recruiting and you know you can trust me because I have a big dinosaur on my shirt. Next Monday, I will start doing a vlog a day for the entire month of August. I'm really scared about it, but it will be really fun, I think. I'm sorry there's not a lot of pole vault videos out lately. I just haven't been pole vaulting. I've been doing a lot of yoga, and my body feels happier because of it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps a little bit, and maybe I won't get as many emails, even though I like talking to you. You can send me emails anyways, but maybe this will answer some of those questions. All right, I'll see you guys later. Let me know if you have any other questions. I hope this helps. Okay, bye.